And we get to see if there's sound on streaming on Twitch. Do, 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 do. Streaming on Twitch. Is there sound? Is there sound? Is there sound? There's... There is sound. Yay. Okay. And recording on Dementia Radio. And recording in three, two, one. Recorded live on DementiaRadio.org. It's the Funny Music Podcast, brought to you by TheFunk.com, where you can download new free comedy songs twice a week. Now, here's your hosts, Devo Spice and the great Luke Ski. Hey, Devo Spice. Hey, Luke Ski. Look, it's Stevie's Kyle. He's right here. Hello, I'm right here. Do that again louder. Hello, I'm right here. There you are. Look Look at how here he is. Wow. Okay. Uh, welcome to episode 604 of the Funny Music Podcast for Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Title of this week's episode is Dusty Error Surge, which I am putting in the chat right now. Uh, stupid paste error, Dusty Error Surge. Go with that. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're here. We're back. It's a, it's a podcast. We've got Kyle and Luke live. We've got a pre-recorded Joe J. Thomas coming up later in the show because uh, he's still over there in that Spain country. Um, so let, let's let's do this. Let's get caught up with what Devo and Luke have been up to since last week. Or else Devo, if Luke failed and didn't show up. Hey, what? No, oh, he's right. Oh. And before we get to that, uh, Wildcard's just subscribed with his Amazon Prime uh, subscription in Twitch. So thank you very much, Wildcard. All right, Luke, thank what you been up to? Um, not much besides, you know, working my dumb job um, and applying for jobs that aren't dumb that I hope to get. So <laughs> the most significant thing is something that happened just a few hours ago with Kyle himself. Uh, we uh, recorded uh, an appearance on the We Talk Funny podcast with Ken Pringle, and uh, uh, that was uh, a good old time. Sure was. <laughs> um, we played a game so nerdy, he could pretty much only ask us. <laughs> and, we, and we didn't do super well on it. We <laughs> I thought we did all right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there was, yeah it's, it, it had to do with... It's like, he played, we, we, we play other trivia games with other people, but for us it was like, no, I need to come up with a much harder and like multi-tiered <laughs> trivia game for them. <laughs> oh, so he, he challenged you intentionally. He, he wanted to test your nerd cred. Something to that effect, yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, but yeah, that was a, a super lot of fun. And tomorrow he'll be coming over here, because uh, we did the one today over um, the internet, but... Uh, tomorrow he'll be coming here in person so that he can appear on Kyle and Luke Talk About Tunes. So it'll be kind of like a uh, oh. you know, part one Part one will drop on his podcast with us on his show on Saturday morning, usually. Yeah. Guess? Yeah. And then, um, and then you know, part two will be, you know, ours, you know, the following, the, the Sunday after that Sunday, like eight days. Cool. I, I thought you were actually just going to do one segment and it was going to air on both podcasts when you guys first talked about it. But I like this Not idea it. better. <laughs> No, no, no. That would be much less work. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, we're going to have him uh, watch one of the Saturday morning preview specials with us so that he can review it with us. And, uh, yeah, it should be it should be a ton of fun. So, yeah, that's about it as far as what I've been up to. Uh, nice. What have you been up to? I've been busy as hell working on a freelance job. So, nothing fun and nothing I can talk about. But it's money, which I need. So, that's good. Um Everything else is falling behind. Like, I'm way behind on the Fump Volume 90 production and all the other stuff that I need to do. Like, my entire to-do list for the week is just blown out because of this freelance job. But it's coming to an end. It should be it's supposed to be done as of tomorrow. I just have a couple little little tweaks, and then the site launches on Tuesday, and that should be the end of it. Um, but I do need to tell this one story, because it happened. Um... On Reddit, where I spend most of my my downtime, um, somebody posted in some form, I forget which one, uh, that due to their chemotherapy, they don't have fingerprints anymore. And it was a video of them trying to use the, you know, the fingerprint scanner on the iPad. And silly me remembered back when these iPads, you know, fingerprint scanners first came out. And I was like, hey, fun fact, you can train those things to work with your nipple. 
And I was like, yeah, that's, you know, amusing little comment. And then a few minutes, you know, 20 minutes go by and I see a, a notification that somebody replied to my comment and it was somebody saying, dude, she's got stage four breast cancer. Oh, <laughs> and I went, oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> so then I noticed that she responded to my, my comment and she said, good thing I still have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so i apologized profusely um but she she was a good sport about it thankfully <laughs> so, oh my god i felt you know that big i was like oh this is comments like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's like the the keep the word chemotherapy was in the title and it didn't even occur to me that that could have been what it was you know there's hundreds of types of cancer sure you know <laughs> just like oh god really <laughs> So, Kyle, what have you been up to? Hopefully nothing as embarrassing as that. <laughs> Thankfully, no. No, uh, just continuing to work on, uh, you know, storyboard for Snoopy. And uh, besides that, like, I'm continuing to, you know, do the rough storyboard that Luke is currently cleaning up because there's another human being who is also going to, you know, do clean up for this, like, take the other half that Luke's currently working on. Uh, and eventually I'll be able to show it to people and say, hey, give me a TV show. And they'll say no, and I'll be like, but I did all this work. Uh, and they'll be like, well, okay. So, um, <laughs> and uh, besides that, um, uh, with today's song that we'll be talking about, I realized that um, the EP that I'm working on could very easily be an album. So uh, I'm going to do like more songs and then it will be an album <laughs> cool i didn't know you were working on an ep yeah the, the idea for a lot of the stuff that uh you know i've released on the thump recently was like it's all songs that were written you know within the same relative time frame as uh as five Fidelity. so i was going to make an ep of like hey here's other songs i wrote around this time that never made it onto an album uh it's love child of why fidelity and five Fidelity, and it's called old daily and it's still going to be uh, called okay. that. There's just going to be like other songs I've done recently because um, I came to the realization that I recorded a bunch of just other like individual songs that aren't that, and nobody besides me is going to care about the specifics of that. <laughs> so they're just going to go on this, and it's an album. Awesome! That sounds that sounds like fun. So you did post a song. I did. Tell us about this song, and we'll give it a listen. When I was in the seventh grade, I thought maybe I'll write parodies. And I grew up and said, no, I'm not going to do that. But I recorded this song anyway. All right. Here is The Longest Lime by TV's Kyle. Oh, 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 oh. It's the longest lime. Oh, oh, oh. It's the longest welcome to the Van Nuys County Fair. Competition for what we grow there. mission and never judge me for my longest time norman borlaug frank and hero dear inspiration for this new frontier i saw a small line then proclaim now it is my time then i grew what's known as the longest time oh 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 it's the longest time oh 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 it's the longest competition's looking Can't match what I have made though I am referring to the longest lime Maybe this won't last very long The Venus flytraps are playing ping pong Maybe I've been trying too hard But I got a lime and it's long cause I said so How much longer do I have to wait For large raisins and some people knits I'll be resilient I know what I have is brilliant I have all faith in this The longest lime Oh, 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 oh It's the longest lime Oh, oh, oh It's the longest grill I lose to this vegan fudge The Venus flytraps Are eating the judge Now I know the citrus that you are I keep you in a jar And you're long cause I said so Disappoint I must now confess I just lost two sentient watercress I'm packed in water 
talking Can't believe it started talking I can't compete with just the longest time I guess I'll have to eat it I'm kinda soured on the longest time Oh, 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 oh It's the longest time Oh, 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 oh It's the longest time Oh, 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 oh Stupid longest time Oh, 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 oh Useless longest time Um, <laughs> so... I just I was just listening. Um, first time I'm listening to this on headphones, and I noticed in the left ear there's a lot of and I'm also hearing fret noise. Is that okay? Glass playing guitar doing that? Yes. Oh, neat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's playing both uh, banjo and guitar on this. And uh, actually, while we're talking about him, uh, so I wasn't quite sure what was going to go on in like the instrumental bit before the ending, and I told him to just do whatever he wanted, and so like. He, as he described it, he added a desert level to my song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good way to describe it. <laughs> but yeah, I was just listening to him. Like I'm, I'm hearing squeaks. Like that, that's clearly fret noises. <laughs> um. So have you? Did you ever record this with the original uh, Billy Joel music? I don't think so. Uh, that's. Like, there's a possibility that when I was a kid, maybe I just, like, took the original song and just kind of sang over it. But I, if that if that ever existed, I don't currently have a copy of it. And I can't find the old lyrics either. I just kind of, like, knew that I wrote this, rewrote it more with the same concept more recently, and then made up the new music. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've, I've done that, too, where I can't... I lost original versions of, of songs. That happened with um, uh, A Christmas Tale. The... Um, the original version was in a notebook that I just lost. It just, it disappeared one day and I was really pissed because I really liked what I wrote and I remembered about half of it. So I, there's, there's like somewhere out there in the ether. It, it, it was lost on a bus between Norwalk, Connecticut and Atlantic city, New Jersey. <laughs> Mine are probably in my parents' basement somewhere, unless it got destroyed in a flood at some point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Barney, the purple ranger was the same way where it's like, I knew a few scant lines and remembered the concept and then just just rewrote it made something new yeah so yeah, Ian, I'm listening to the longest line i'm like just in you know listening to that lyric and then immediately scanning it to <laughs> you know the longest time just to be like okay i see how that fits okay i see how that fits i guess i'm like i'm trying to reconstruct the the parody version in my head as i listen right. to yours in real time yeah and most mostly it fits except for uh the extra bit at the end about you know about losing because mm -hmm. i was like you know i like looked through everything i wrote and i'm like oh i want a little bit more of an ending to this ending and so i just added a little bit extra yeah, Ian said in the in the comments that he wants to record it with the original music, so that he <laughs> may have that to that look forward like to. Yeah, and we've got the the you know the Dementia Smackdown coming up at MarsCon, so. Oh, it's true. Yes. Maybe. Yes. I, I sure as hell ain't going to do it. <laughs> from from a design standpoint, of just like picturing, you know, like if you took a lime and you like bisected it right in the middle, and then you just elongated it, so it was just like a like a tube of a long line is how I picture this yeah. in my mind of, of, of existing. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you look at that little image I made promoting this, it just looks like there's like a green stripe at the top of it. That's actually the line. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, that's that's not a lime. That's a cucumber. That's all you say. <laughs> Thought it tasted a little lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, are you do are you going to do farm this year? Uh, I might. I have a project that I've been wanting to do with Lindsay for quite a while, and I might take this opportunity to record a bunch of demos for it. Okay, because uh, if you if you're looking for other ideas, I know you have lots of ideas, but I have an idea for you. Mm -hmm. um, for FOM, you can take 14 random uh, Fumpcast titles from the past year and make those into songs. 
That sounds like something I would do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Possibility. Just throwing it out there. Throw it, just any, you want to do it? Go ahead. Yeah, get titles from somewhere. Yeah. So, no, it's a neat song. Uh, I dig it. Got a good beat. You can dance to it. I don't know. <laughs> Got a funky beat, and I can really bug out to it. <laughs> um, can we talk about Encanto for a minute? We can, yes. <laughs> because I have questions. Um, I watched it. I loved it. Great. Um, I, I freaking love the, the song that, uh, what's her name? Isabella, the strong one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's the song is called Surface Pressure. Yeah. Oh God, I love that song. That's a fantastic song. That, that's my favorite. Um, but uh, like from a story standpoint, <laughs> this is where I got lost because mm-hmm. um, Mirabelle basically confronts her grandmother, says, "I will never be good enough for you," and then leaves. And then the grandmother catches up to her, and then they make up, and then everything is okay. And I was like, how did that happen? Did, did I miss something? Is there like a whole scene that I missed? I mean, did I fall asleep or something? Have you ever seen The Good Place? Yes. You know how uh, when there are conflicts, it causes physical uh, issues in their world? Yes. That. Okay. So she just had to make up with her grandmother and that was fine. Yeah. Okay. See, the I, way I'm looking at it is something that nobody's, like, mentioned, because everyone talks about, like, the whole premise is, oh, Mirabelle is the only one in the family who doesn't have any powers. It's like, well, no, Abuela also doesn't have any powers. Like, she was given the candle and the gift and the casita, but the casita has the powers. The candle has the powers. Abuela has no powers. So the way I was looking at it is, you know, as, as well as trying to heal, you know, the generational toxicity between Abuela and her kids and grandkids, it's also kind of like, if, if we assume the casita is going to continue to exist longer than the humans living in it, they're going to need, generally, generationally speaking, like one person to be the caretaker of the casita. That, that makes sense. have their own powers. So it's like yeah. Mirabelle's the next person to be that. So as time goes on and Abuela passes away, Mirabelle will be the head of the household that runs everything and yada, yada, yada. So Mirabelle's that... power is clearly accordion playing. I don't know what you're yeah. all about. <laughs> <laughs> and... Dancing with that amazing skirt that she's wearing. Holy crap, the animation oh, yes. on that thing was stunning. <laughs> I, I was it's it's one of those things that makes it clearly a musical in a way. Yeah. <laughs> Where like, like just like the way you look in the costume that you're in is like part of what makes a musical awesome. Uh and can define it. But it's like, is that like there's often like a piece of technology that's attached to a Pixar or Disney movie that's like, hey, here's the new technology we figured out for this one. Was this like they haven't said anything, but was the skirt the technology? I, for I this movie. I, I one of the directors said like referred to somebody. It's like who said like this is the person that stitched Mirabelle's outfit. I'm like, mm. wait, so there was literal digital stitching <laughs> being done Maybe. to make it that outfit that real? And I mean, it seems like that's what they what the guy was saying. So yeah, mm. those you know those costumes are just wow, amazing. I was just more impressed by the the animation. Like she, you know, she's throwing that dress around and it's flipping and folding, yeah. and it's it's it was beautiful. You know, it was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's cool looking. Yeah, yeah. and uh, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, just um, I mean, they, they, this has been done, you know, for decades upon decades, where you you know film live action reference or people dancing or whatever. But just like looking at some of the stuff for Encanto, it's like. They did such an amazing job of, of choreographing all this stuff for the song sequences mm. and then translating it to, you know, an animation thing. So it's like it's animation and it's Broadway and it's a specific type of dancing, you know, native to Columbia. And it's like it all just works. It's just so good. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, good film. I do want to watch it again. Um, I, I did enjoy it. I just had that one question about the story. Like, I felt like I missed something, but... Well, you saw the whole sequence where they show Abuela's flashback, you know, with mm-hmm. her relationship. Yeah, so yeah. Th- that's basically like, you know, it's kind of like this. The, the the movie doesn't have, you know, it kind of it doesn't have a straight out villain villain. Like you couldn't take anybody from that thing and put them with like Hades and Jafar. Like this is our villain. Yeah. You know, it's like so. It's yeah. Just nobody's kind of, stealing the magic from the the house. It's just happening. Yeah. Although I think that would be kind of a, a funny 
bit for like D-Tunes to do with their, you know, cartoon mashups or whatever. Just uh-huh. like have like the big meeting of Disney villains and like Bruno just kind of gets punted in there. It's like, no, I don't really don't belong here, guys. <laughs> It reminds me of the sidekicks bit from the old Cartoon Network interstitial. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a sidekick. I'm a cool star. <laughs> so, yeah, just, just fun. All right. So, Kyle, do you have anything you'd like to plug? Uh, I they, they used to let me make a show. It's called My Magic Swords. You can enjoy it on Hulu and Disney, and Disney Plus on HBO Max. <laughs> um, I will let I you make whatever you want, Kyle. Just come to me. I'll let you make whatever you want. I can't pay you for it, but I'll let you make it. I'm trying to remove the DRM from iTunes um, copies of Mighty Magisword so I can more easily take screen caps of it for no particular reason. Uh, But despite there being no particular reason, I've spent several hours on that today instead of doing anything useful. If you figure that out, please let me know, because that is so annoying. Well, I mean, I also bought them all on YouTube to see if that was easier, and I think I can capture them with my desktop except for like it's hard to make the 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 hud go away um and it doesn't work on like it's easier to easy it would be easier to make the capture on my phone but that also doesn't work yeah it's like back in you know when everything first dropped on all of the services you know and and back when i had the money to blow on such things i purchased mighty magic swords on (laughs) on youtube and Amazon Prime, and Google Play, and iTunes. It's like I wanted to own it on all the digital platforms, Mm -hmm. and yet none of them allow you to do screen capture if you want to, like, get a a photo still or whatever. It's weird, because how are all the dumb kids on the internet doing it? I know! (laughs) It's like, I guess they're all, you know, people are getting it off of, I guess, torrent sites or something. I guess, like, once you turn 40, your ability to do stuff just kind of stops. (laughs) (sighs) Ugh. Because, yeah, it's like I, I wanted to use, well, I mean, getting just the audio from uh, from Magisword stuff is fine for the for the things sure. I was doing with my animatics. But it's like I would like to have, you know, the decent full res high quality images that I worked on and also paid for. <laughs> because it's like I have the copies that I left Cartoon Network with, which either have, like, I have the nice quality ones that have, like, the, the, the numbers on them. So I yeah. can, like you know, indicate frames if I need to. Uh, and then, like, the low-res low, low res ones that are nice, but they're low-res. Yeah. Um, also, I have a website with music on it, tvskyle.bandcamp.com. <laughs> Yay! All right, thank you, Kyle. We're going to move on to news and stuff. News and stuff and stuff now. So, uh, Yeah. Attention comedy musicians and comedy music fans. The Logan Awards are taking open nominations for outstanding comedy songs and videos released last year for this year's awards. Did you release a comedy song or music video in 2021? Or have a favorite comedy song or video that was released then? Then nominate it for the Logan Awards today. The Logan Awards are essentially the Comedy Music Awards, sponsored annually by the Funny Music Project and are presented in three categories. Outstanding Original Comedy Song, Outstanding Parody Song, and Outstanding Comedy Music Video. If you have a comedy song that was released in 2021 that you'd like to nominate for 2022's awards, head to loganawards.com and click the Nominations tab at the top. There is a minimum and maximum of five nominations per person. Hurry! Nominations close this year on January 22nd. For more details about Logan himself, the awards, and more, check out loganawards.com. Help us commemorate this year's best comedy songs and music videos with a trophy, the way they do with every other form of entertainment. But if you want your favorites to win, you have to nominate them by January 22nd, 2022. Get your nominations in now at loganawards.com. Brought to you by thefump.com. Time for funny music news. Something, something, something. In the news, Pancake Dream is now on Night Flight Plus. Barnes and Barnes's album Pancake Dream is now a video album streaming on Night Flight Plus. Nightflightplus.com is a new streaming service with quote more of a subversive, carefully curated base of material to choose from. They offer feature films, cult movies, documentaries, underground alternative music programming, concerts, and more. 
The channel is available on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and others. The Pancake Dream video album features all 13 music videos from the Barnes & Barnes' new album, plus a new intro exclusive to Night Flight Plus. Visit nightflightplus.com to subscribe or for more information. I think Night Flight is based on like that thing that used to be on the USA Network on like Friday nights and Saturday nights, and they would just show weird movies and other stuff. You know, during the you know super late night hours. Oh, so. could be. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Carla Albrecht has announced a new album. Twang will be coming out on March first. She is now accepting pre-orders via a new Indiegogo campaign. Twang will feature eight songs with a country twang and a humorous twist. Uh, the track list is actually up on the Indiegogo page. Um, go to Indiegogo.com and search for Carla Albrecht. It's just called New CD from Carla Albrecht. Her last name is spelled U-L-B-R-I-C-H. She is looking to raise $2,200 to cover the production costs of the CD. So let's help her out. Uh Fine. Morning practice tomorrow. I got to get up at five to take my son to swim. Okay, fine. Um, and the Logan Award nominations are now open. Nominate your favorite comedy songs from 2021 in any of the three categories. Outstanding original comedy song, outstanding parody song, and outstanding comedy music video. Go to LoganAwards.com and click on nominations to submit your songs. Nominations are open until the 22nd. And, ooh, I forgot to update the Ookla the Mock Kickstarter. So let's see what that is at. Kickstarter.com. And, of course, my internet connection has chosen now to be slow. So we're just going to round on it to do Ookla the Mock versus Evil on vinyl. They're looking to raise $10,000. They are currently at. Uh, drum roll, drum roll. Come on, load. Four thousand two hundred and seventy-four dollars. Not quite halfway there. So head over to Kickstarter.com and help them out. I want this to happen. <clears throat> All right, you got anything before tour dates? Any MarsCon info or anything? No, I'm. Uh, it's. I'm not. I'm not intentionally dragging my feet on the MarsCon stuff. I had hoped to have it all announced by this week, but uh, the, the two things are one that Byron, uh, who is you know volunteering his time to help edit the fundraiser album you know is still working on that so you know uh i don't want to rush him uh or whatever uh and the other thing is um it's like <laughs> it's like once i'm ready i'll announce everything but i'm just in my mind i'm kind of wondering you know is omicron going to you know make the convention go from being in person to virtual i mean we're still planning for in person until we're told not to i mean i guess i i, I should touch base with the you know, people higher ups on the comm staff to find out if, you know, because they're actually in the city, you know, what's going on in the Twin Cities as far as, uh, you know, public here, you know, public gatherings and stuff. I know that the last time I was uh, at a meeting where it was discussed, the plan was that uh, to attend Mars County, you needed to have uh, your vaccination card showing that you were, you know, vaccinated um, and or, uh, well, yeah either your vaccination card or you needed to show a negative COVID test taken within the past uh, 72 hours of showing up at the event uh, was what their policy was going to be. Um, so I need to like double check on that and stuff because um, so I don't know. It's like <laughs> I, I can tell that you that there is hope because I read this morning that uh, the measurements of the Omicron uh, infections in Boston seem to have peaked and are dropping fast. Um, good. so it seems to have run out of people to infect, I, I guess. Um, so there's hope it's still like, high, but y'all know, you know. <laughs> yeah, know, you know, how much, you know, work, you know, how crazy and hyper-focused I'll get working on a thing. So I'm like trying to, <gasps> sorry, part of me is just like, you know, don't, don't dive down that rabbit hole just yet. <clears throat> Let's wait a little longer <laughs> before we make a whole bunch of effort because you know but yeah it's it, it's it's all you know it's it's two months away and um uh, i'm you know i'm i'm excited to see everybody who's who's going to be there and i need to um i sent off an email like a week or so ago just double checking on who's able to you know for sure commit to coming out there so that i can list them in the big promotion that i'm going to do and i'm and you know so basically i'm just uh 
you know, uh, partially waiting on myself to, you know, finish up some email back and <clears throat> forth to make sure I know who's committing and who isn't. And, uh, and then I'm also waiting for Byron to, uh, finish up the, uh, the, the, the fundraiser album just so I can have everything all done and make one big announcement instead of a bunch of little announcements. So, so in conclusion, if you haven't made your thing for the Logan Awards yet, you know, Toys is a song that I did. It's a parody. You could nominate that if you think it, it's worthy of an award. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. All right, tour dates. On Sundays in Nashville, Tennessee, Steve Goody hosting at the Bluebird. On Tuesdays online, Phil Johnson and Roadside Attraction. On Thursdays online, Steve Goody and Brad Tassel. And coming up tomorrow on the 14th online, Carla Ulbrich. And birthdays tomorrow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's Luke Ski's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Luke. Yay, I get to have a birthday. I get to get older and then I'll die. Yay. Yay! Isn't it great? All right. <laughs> Here is our second song of the week coming to us from Joe J. Thomas. Here is Under Construction. They took my couch and now they're loading into a truck But they don't know where they're going There goes my bed and the dining table I give them directions but I don't think I'm able And now I got a headache from this twisted fairy tale I'm here They took my couch and now they're loading into a truck But they don't know where they're going There goes my bed and the dining table I give them directions but I don't think I'm able And now I got a headache from this twisted fairy tale So I tell them over and over and over again, my friend just wait and see, my place is under construction. My kitchen stove is stuck in Italy. Now there's just a hole right where it should be. Not really much that I am seeking just give me one toilet that works and is it leaking or a water heater capable of heating so I tell them over and over and over again my friends oh can't you see my home is under construction Garbage disposal Blew out my power Been leaking like a sieve For over an hour Now shipping man Where's my delivery? I'm hoping the fourth one Is just like it should be Since they broke number two When they lost number three Looking for someone Got a package for me but I'm so damn pissed that I can hardly see And don't you tell me over and over and over again, my friends I'm living right here in this house that's under construction Can't see no end to this home renovating. Used all our money and a touch of innovating. 
got a place to sleep and a heater that's heating. The plumbing is fine and there's still a little leaking. I can't complain, but it's sympathy I'm seeking. Just want a place where no workers are there peeping. And a nice hot meal without going out for taking. And I tell you over and over and over again, my friend. I'm kinda tired living life that's under construction I wanna be done with everything that's under construction I'm here with Joe J. Thomas, once again coming to us from the Nostril Cam. Hello. In lovely in shower somewhere in Spain, <laughs> Showerville, Spain. No. <laughs> Bar- that- Barth- Barcelona. <laughs> I, th- I thought that was your sound booth, not your shower. But yeah, it's my my shower, my shower sound booth. I'm I I actually should uh, one uh, the the whole moving thing, which is documented in the song, is I should make this a shower because my shower has a new issue. It's apparently an infinitely adjustable temperature. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so tell us about this song. Uh, well, it's written from the bowels of my personal experience with my latest move, and there have been delays for everything i'm assuming because of like covid shipment dis- delays and initially they're like well all your appliances aren't going to be there I'm like okay so no appliances are going to be well we your stove is on the way okay so we can heat things and they're like okay so then the refrigerator showed up first and the stove was delayed and i'm like okay so we got a refrigerator which is probably more important than the stove my wife on week three i'm tired of salads because <laughs> I couldn't make anything else it's like okay so it's like when's the stove coming well it's stuck in italy somewhere it's like okay let's order a different stove so we ordered like a completely different stove another two weeks go by finally we we have a stove now we have one somewhat working shower the other shower doesn't have any like a wall, glass wall thing whatever it's called in spanish it's called a a mampara, which I thought was a hilarious word, but um, we're mostly kind of there, but still not. So that's where the song came from is just the headaches. <laughs> mm, I can relate. I've been there and I'm yeah. going to be there again soon. Not moving, but just so many things in this house are falling apart and need to be fixed. And like where we are about to rip up our kitchen floor um, to you know replace that, except it's it's doing the ripping up for us. Like, you know, you walk through the kitchen and a tile gets stuck to your foot and just comes off. So we've got like this huge section of like the middle part of our kitchen floor where we're, you know, where everybody stands to make food and stuff is just, you know, it's plywood. Now there's, there's no, there's no tile anymore. So, so we have to fix that sooner rather than later. Yeah. That's going to be fun. I got a, I've got an, uh, it's, it's, I guess it's common enough. I've got a friend who bought an older house and he's like, uh, took a picture. He's like, I don't know why, but part of my kitchen ceiling is now on the floor. <laughs> it's just, it's got, it's got a leak he didn't know about and, and the stuff came down. So now he's like, and now it's 15 degrees outside. And because of my ancient windows, I know exactly what the temperature is. I <laughs> uh, yes, the, 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 good old fashioned windows with no insulation and leaks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like they worked not, well, <laughs> not even single pane. It's like half pain. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like they just taped a piece of glass to a hole in the wall, you know? Yeah. Oh, and I've, you know, I thought this is the, this is where the shower thing comes in. Why the shower is infinite uh, temperatures. I thought we have an on-demand water heater, which is a cool idea The water, cold water comes in there's you know flames and it makes the water hot and it's supposed to be endless supply except ours runs two jobs it runs the heaters which is um like radiators throughout mm-hmm. the house 
and it runs the, the hot water for showers and things like that. So initially I thought, okay, it's doing this because we have the heater on. So I turned the heater on. No, it's doing it because apparently we're on the ninth floor and the pressure isn't high enough for it. So note to self, next time make sure you have enough pressure to support like the, and this is the heater that the family before us had like a family of four and we called them and we're like did you have any problems with your heater they're like no no it's fine well it was always hot and cold but we thought that was normal <laughs> it's like you bought it new why didn't you complain <laughs> so anyway so what are you going to so, do because he, he, it, it's harder to fix the pressure problem yeah yeah they said well you can add a, a bomba or a pump and it's like well, yeah but we're in a ninth floor of a building so we're going to be sucking water from the rest of the building so they're like yeah you don't want to do that so i think what we're end going to end up doing is like they've got for 150 bucks you can get a tank water heater like a regular old tank water heater and we have space so we're like let's just get like a 20 gallon tank and we'll hook up all the showers and taps to that and we'll leave the other to run the heaters and we'll just pretend we didn't have to buy something extra but at least it's not <laughs> at least not that expensive it's probably more expensive for the guy to come out and install it than it yeah probably the it's not a bad idea i mean you just stick it in the corner put googly eyes on it and you know it'll be fine <laughs> yeah yeah and i'm like ooh, then i won't know what to do i'll be like why is it warm in my shower all the time <laughs> <laughs> And I'll write a song about that. My shower is always warm. <laughs> well, it's it's nice that these things are inspiring songs. So <laughs> at least you have a creative they, outlet for your frustration. They, they say right from what you know and right from misery. So, you know, I got both of those going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. If, if was... you haven't seen it, I highly recommend the movie uh, Moving with Richard Pryor. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, it's yeah. it's great. And you will appreciate it having gone through all of this because it's it's what you're going through like exponentially worse and uh, it's very funny. Is it like Money Pit with uh, Tom Hanks? Yes, Banks? it's it's uh, very much like Money Pit. Um, okay, I'll have to yeah. watch it. <laughs> yeah, highly recommended. It's very funny. It's one of my favorites. So um, anything specific about the song you want to mention? We talked about moving um, a lot. It's... <laughs> it's it's all it's all all the song the entire song is true I, we went through um the it, even the part about four garbage disposals we went through four the first one like leaked and shorted out the entire electrical system for the house the second one got damaged in delivery and amazon canceled the order the third one got lost somewhere in transit and the fourth <laughs> one like finally made it by a miracle or something and got installed and then it's like okay don't touch it don't ever use this because i don't want to break it <laughs> so it's probably possessed you turn it on and some demon comes out of it or something well no nobody with we, we've got the crew that does our like kitchen installation and stuff they're very experienced and we're talking to the guy and disposals are not common at all in spain and we're like have you've installed these before he's like this is my second and he's been doing this for like 40 years. <laughs> he's like, I've only installed two. They're for insane foreigners, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nobody wants these things. It's like, okay, fine. I need a disposal because I'm tired of scraping plates. They're great for hiding bodies. You chop them up and throw them down the sink. <laughs> my tie, my tie. That, uh, what's the scene? Kentucky Fried Movie with Arsenio Hall. Do you ever see that? Yes, long time ago. There's a scene where, yeah, he's he's he takes a bite out of a sandwich and it's rotten. And he throws it down to the disposal and he has to lean way over to turn it on and his tie gets caught. And he's like <laughs> <laughs> getting sucked down the drain. Anyway, good news. Nice. So that's it. I hope people enjoy the song because my All right, so should. Do you have anything you'd like to plug? Oh, gee, what do I have to plug? No, just Joe's dump. And I'm still doing games and animation and fun all right like that sounds good well thank you for joining us and good luck finishing up your move oh yeah i'll i'll write another song when it's done so <laughs> i'll catch you in in two and a half years okay and good luck on your kitchen thank you <laughs> making the internet absolutely ridiculous <laughs> 
Dementia Radio. www.dementiaradio.org. Port 8027. Please hang up and try again. This is the part where there's feedback. 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 You know that segment of the show we do about now? Feedback. Feedback. <laughs> feedback. <laughs> Feedback. Baramon says, like, subscribe, and use your free Amazon Twitch Prime subscription. Support your local comedy musicians. They are doing God's work. Amen. Baramon wrote, I want an intro. Can mine be an obnoxious reminder like subscribe and use your free Amazon Twitch Prime subscription? Support your local comedy musicians. They're doing God's work. Amen. Thanks. There you go, Baramon. I hope that was obnoxious enough. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> and it's like people are going to be rush, rushing so much to like you know subscribe that it's just going to kick up dust and there'll be a dusty error surge. <laughs> well done. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Luke cracked up when I when that came out. I don't know. Uh, Hemner hack wrote, "I am Devo Spice everywhere. I am not hard to find. So needs to be the title of your Halloween album." <laughs> Thank you, Hemner hack. It's not a bad idea. All right, uh, that's all the feedback we got for this week. All right. Teasing. He's a teasing kind of guy. Now you have a job. Yeah. Tomorrow's song is by a new artist. It's actually a side project of a longtime Fump artist. So it's, you know, it's 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 a thing. Um, actually, it's a side project of a side project. It's actually how that works. But anyway, uh, Tuesday song is by Phil Johnson and Roadside Attraction. Hooray. And next week's playlist... Spotify playlist topic is Toys! Yay! Guess which song I'm starting with. Go on, guess. Um, that filky sounding one. No! <laughs> Yours, idiot. Yay! <laughs> I win. It's your birthday. I'm starting with you. Okay. Uh, that wasn't why Weird I was starting Al's with you. It was just a coincidence. But uh, Yeah, Weird Al's Twister on the playlist. <laughs> I do not, actually. I, I will edit, now that you mention it. Because um, <laughs> it's a short list of songs this week, because I have the Island of Recall Toys on it, and that's like ten minutes. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, so, TV's Kyle is at tvskyle.bandcamp.com, and Joe J. Thomas is at joesdump.com. And that, as they say, is a show, so... Thank you for listening to the Funny Music Podcast. I'm Devo Spice. I'm Luke Ski. And Kyle was here, but now he's not. And Joe was never here. Thank you for listening to the Funny Music Podcast. You can listen live every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific at DementiaRadio.org. And join us in the chat or subscribe to the podcast feed. Look us up on iTunes and be sure to leave us a review. Feedback for the show can be sent to info at thefump.com. The Funny Music Podcast is a production of Fidem Interactive, LLC, released under a Creative Commons share-alike license. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Shout it to random people on the street. And be sure to visit thefump.com for the latest funny songs. Tune in next week where you'll hear Luke Ski say, A nipple is a terrible thing to waste.